Good morning, beautiful people! Today we're going to visit an area of rolling hills in Piemonte region here in Italy. And this area is called Le Langhe. Langhe is very well known for the vineyards and the wines, for example. Barolo, Barbera, Nebbiolo. But there is so much more to see here in this beautiful area. There is a very strong culinary tradition with local products like El Tartufo, truffles, hazelnuts, cheese, beautiful little medieval villages each one with its own culture, with its own tradition and spirit. You have to know that the landscapes of this area Le Lange, along with the ones of Monferrato and Roero, that are the two areas of uh, Piemonte region, they have been included in the World Heritage List of UNESCO in 2014. Because this is one of the most enchanting scenarios you will find in Italy. But now let's start from the beginning. We woke up really early this morning, we left Lucky Land and the first activity we have done uh, is to, to visit a saffron farm. Yes, in Italy, yes, in Piedmont. It's real. So let's see the images and thank you Garmont for sponsoring today's video. Let's go! If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper and when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. Let's start today's adventure with a very particular experience. We are here with Elena that she will explain us how to grow, harvest uh, and uh, the process uh, that there is behind the saffron. So in Italian uh, you say Zafferano. The family business, uh, this farm, uh, is called uh, San Bernardo Zafferano because uh, this little church uh, that is just above uh, the land uh, where the saffron grows uh, is dedicated uh, to San Bernardo. Ciao Elena, good morning. Hi, hi, good morning. <laughs> Why these flowers are here on the floor right now? Yeah, because uh, we already picked the, the saffron from the flower mm -hmm. and uh, we leave the flowers here uh, for the bees As so can they, they can collect uh, the pollen for their uh, because it's the last uh, are the last flowers of the season so they can collect uh, pollen to to and eat in the winter. Yeah, that's there great. is a lot of on, on these flowers. So a lot of food for the bees. Yeah. <laughs> flowers, they start uh, to flourish uh, in, uh, in this period, in the um, uh, last weeks of uh, October. It's a very short Eight. amount of time. Yeah, you it's can nearly harvest. one month. One month of hard work yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to collect all these flowers every day, every morning. I love the color of these flowers. They're really beautiful. They're really bright. Yes. <laughs> Mega lavorone. To show the soil that it's very sandy, can we say like this? Yeah. And this is very important for the saffron. They had to close uh, like this because there are the, uh, the deers uh, and the uh, wild pigs uh, that come here and destroy, so to protect from wildlife. Ma li raccogli chiusi? Ah, okay. You need to pick them when they are still closed. Yeah, to preserve uh, the, the saffron. So oh, you okay. you pick that. it in the early morning yes. because um, insects, uh, bees, uh, or something else can ruin the 
the saffron spice because they want to collect only the pollen, yeah. the yellow part, but we want to, to pick the, the red one. Sometimes it happens that there are uh, four or five, yeah. and sometimes there are only two. So it's kind of okay. sad <laughs> because you have a, a lot of work and then you pick the flower and you have to just two stems of, uh, of saffron. But, but that's you, how our nature is. So Yeah, you cannot predict it. Yeah. Usually but there are three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Al always free. We wake up early in the morning and uh, we pick the flower closed and then we go home and uh, clean uh, the flowers uh, to pick uh, the saffron. Since it is a hard job to do, we will help <laughs> with the job and we will pick some flowers this morning. Right now we have uh, like uh, 20, 25 thousands of bulbs to, to harvest. From these bulbs, the product, the saffron that you will collect, how much the quantity? Uh, nearly uh, 100 gram, un etto. Il di tutto? Di tutto, sì. <laughs> Conferma? Yes. <laughs> yes, do you confirm? Abbiamo 20.000. Last year there were 20,000 and uh, we collected uh, 98 grams of saffron. Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's a hard work for a little, uh, and but yes. great joy. <laughs> Elena and uh, her father, they have uh, every year to take uh, off all the bulbs from the ground uh, and uh, plant and, uh, again uh, in August. Uh, in August. Yeah. Now you know why saffron is so it's expensive. It's so expensive. Uh, there is a lot of work behind the scenes. I've been always curious about this plantation, the cultivation of the saffron, and now today we can see how many flowers you need, how much work do you need to harvest a little quantity of saffron. You know, saffron is one of the most expensive uh, product that you can find in the world to eat. She said that for a risotto, for four people, you need 25 flowers. It's kind of uh, 0.15 grams of saffron to be able to taste the saffron. There are a lot of terraces that we still need to go through and pick all the flowers. Then we need to pick all the pistils and then we let dry the the saffron and then you can use it better if you can use it after two weeks because the intensity of the taste of the saffron will be better. So we're here in uh, our home, in uh, San Bernardo Zafferano home and uh, we are going to um, uh, clean and uh, collect uh, the saffron from uh, their flowers and uh, as you can see we have uh, a classic uh, in uh, Piedmontese putage, it is a, a, a stove, stove uh, where you can cook uh, in the oven and then you have uh, um, like a bowl to collect uh, water to, to cook uh, things uh, with, uh, with the hot water. Yeah. And on this side you... Wood soap, wood? Uh, so wood you put the wood in there. Wow, Here. Nice. <laughs> because today is so cold, it's freezing outside. But here, ah, it's perfect. So I wish you can you could smell the saffron because it's so intense, delicious. So this is all already wow. dried. Wow, look at that. From this to this. You need to try not to get the yellow part. But to keep the three stems together. So this part uh, is super uh, bitter. bitter. So you need to remove it uh, and you try to put them like this. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> well done. So here we have uh, our final product. So there is dried uh, saffron. These two? These two are um, 
two new products that we experimented first uh, here at home and then we we asked ask the to a pastry chef to do it for us these are uh, biscuits with the saffron in it egg white uh, with uh, with sugar and our saffron in it so, so meringa is very typical from this area of uh, yeah north of italy Vietnam. yes north of italy meringue with saffron thank you so much thank Elena you and her dad Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie mille. Grazie a voi. Fresh eggs. Oh, they are still warm. Sei ancora belle calde, Sara. <laughs> Tocca. E già. We left this very lovely family and now we are back on the road. We are going to visit La Morra and probably other one or two beautiful medieval villages. And we hope that the weather will be less foggy so we can show you the countryside and these beautiful scenarios. In De Lange we are still in the Roero area and we will soon enter in the Lange area. How was the experience with the saffron? was super interesting, nice and cool. I only hope that the sun comes out because uh, it's super cold and uh, working outside uh, you freeze, uh, but uh, it was really interesting. And I love, uh, you know, working and getting my, my hands dirty in the garden, in the green garden, so this is for me. It was very beautiful to know more about this this cultivation, the plantation of the saffron, we always think, okay, I, I bought this for 5, 10 euro at the supermarket and they said that in Italy you can sell one gram for 25, 30, 40 euro depending on the quality, but there is a lot of job behind the scenes. It's like being a YouTuber, you only see the video, <laughs> the vlog, but I, I love to, to say always that some jobs are like an iceberg. The, the only thing that you see is the top of the iceberg. You don't see what is underneath the water. We want to buy 200 bobs uh, and see if we can grow our own uh, saffron. And uh, I mean, even if we will not use it uh, for cooking or doing uh, all this process, uh, the flowers are still beautiful. And uh, right now in October, we saw that in our garden we don't have uh, so many flowers, uh, so it would be perfect uh, for this uh, season. Hazelnut trees everywhere. Now we stop with Luigi between two villages, La Morra and Serra Lunga d'Alba because we want to show you this. No more grapes, uh, they already pick all the grapes. Check this out. Oh wow. And also here, it's super sandy. Yes. Same color, really white. So probably this is the secret. This is the secret, I know this, <laughs> I know. And the fantastic shoes we are wearing today are from Garmont, which is also the sponsor of today's video. But before I start talking about our shoes, we would like to say that Garmont is much more than a sponsor. Piero, the owner of Garmont, was the first one to believe in us. Not in our numbers, but in ourselves. 
our project and our adventure. È un grande onore, un grande orgoglio aiutare gente come voi giovani e che comunque possono insegnare a questa gente, al mondo, che veramente possiamo dare un aiuto anche agli altri. Questo è un messaggio che vorrei che voi riusciste a dare a tutte quelle persone che hanno voglia e senso e rispetto della natura. Essere stay white significa fare veramente quello che uno ha voglia di fare, senza compromessi, senza nessun tipo di limite. Stay wild ragazzi, divertitevi! Garmont's motto è stay wild. So the first time we spoke with Piero, he said, you are the perfect ambassadors for our brand. And actually the shoes, Garmont, saved our feet in our American adventure because they are high quality shoes, high performance shoes and very comfortable. And uh, we can really tell because we have been wearing Garmont shoes uh, from Alaska to Argentina in every kind of extreme uh, weather extreme conditions and uh, as you may know we lived and uh, travel in a small vehicle so we really needed to be extremely minimalist and having the right shoes with the right quality it allows you to do so the model we are wearing today is called dragon tail these low-cut leather shoes for women and men are ideal for approach, like trekking and everyday use in mountain or urban environments. They are lightweight and breathable. This is called Dragon Tail G-Dry because I have a G-Dry technology. You can see here. What does that mean? That I have a durable waterproof protection, a membrane that is inside the shoe. GTF Diamante Sol is the result of in-house research. It is flexible and it can be worn all day long. Ultra lightweight materials and a membrane-free design, Luca is wearing the model membrane-free, make these shoes the ideal choice for hiking on tough trails, even on the warmest days. They are comfortable, we are wearing these since this morning 6.30 a.m. I feel safe when I walk with them. Off-road is perfect because you do not sleep. They have a perfect grip. Good. If you want to check out Garmon shoes, the Dragon Tail model and the other models they have online, we will put the link in the description box below this video. Thank you again to Garmon for sponsoring today's video and for believing in us since the beginning. Bring me to the valley of peace Spare my heart and I'll read to the end of the road Release me from the chains of my mind Pain I cannot define Pierces me all the way down Cause all I ever want is you even sometimes I realize That nothing feels right Only you, you give me heaven Only you, got my attention All oh, the pressure in my life And all the stress I can deny It fills me up each time Only you, you give me heaven only you got my attention. We arrived in the village of La Morra and it's funny because they said that the Lange area is kind of a Tuscany area. You know the landscapes that you can find in Tuscany you will find here but with less people, less crowded. But today is Saturday and it's October and October, November and December probably. In Alba there is this uh, Fiera del Tartufo, this is the truffle fair. It's a very important event for Italy and it's packed with people. Full of people. Full of people. If you decide to come here in the Lange, Roero, Monferrato, Lange area, come before October or after 
December. Why not? Why not? I'm from the Belvedere of La Morra. We can enjoy this beautiful landscape. I could walk for hours uh, right now, but I'm starting to be hungry. <laughs> so let's keep moving and search for a place where to eat something delicious. Everywhere you look, uh, it looks like a painting. It's true. And the sun came out, Luca, as you wish. Finally, perfect. And we arrived in Serra Lunga d'Alba. Continue straight to stay on SP 125. This is the castle. It was built in the 14th century. Yes, we found a restaurant uh, and look at the view the restaurant has. On the castle, on the valley. It's time to eat. Uh. Are you ready? <laughs> of course. Uh. Let's start with our antipasto. Yeah, antipasti because there's more than one. We have some chicken salad and then here we have a tartar. It's, it is uh, raw meat with parmesan cheese and some salad. Salad. Vegetable flan with uh, melted cheese called fonduta. Tajarin a ragù. Tajarin is this uh, egg special handmade uh, pasta with uh, ragù 
that is uh, this tomato sauce with meat uh, that we don't call bolognese. Here in Italy we call it trago. And I have uh, agnolotti del plin. It is a special typical egg pasta, handmade pasta, filled with meat and then there is uh, butter and sage. The veal bites with potatoes. And this, we will share this, my love. But most important, uh, the sauce uh, is made with Barolo, a really famous uh, good uh, wine from this uh, area. We have three different uh, sweets, desserts. I will taste uh, all of them, I will eat and finish all of them. And uh, you can enjoy the, uh, the view. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, remember to smash the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's free and it means a lot to us. The Italian words for today's video are Zafferano Saffron Vigneto Vineyard Raccolto Harvest Zafferano Saffron Vigneto Vineyard Raccolto Harvest We love you beautiful people We appreciate you Thank you for coming along with us And thank you again to Garmont for sponsoring today's video We love today's adventure We have learned so much We will see you next Sunday And remember, la vita è bella Life is beautiful Ciao Ciao Today we are going to visit eh, mi sono dimenticata. Sono zanzare. The saffron. 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 Do you know behind? And Serra Valle. <laughs> Serra Lunga d'Alba. The middle of the vine vineyards. Vineyards. I only hope uh, that the can the mm. it allows you to do so. It allows you?